true. Some infantry as well, just by running over them. 
and also aircraft. That is possibly one of the most badass Marv combinations ever. And as you can see, that Marv's backed up by a rig, and yes, mammoth tanks. And they're dealing with damage. They've already destroyed the airfield, already destroyed the construction yard, even destroyed a war factory. Now they're destroying another war factory up there. They're now going straight for a power plant. Well, some of them are. Um, others are going for one of the command posts and have succeeded. They're all fitted out with rail guns. So I think Bob is absolutely buggered. Yeah, Bob's buggered. But as you can see, it's not the end of the world yet. Because, well, it's not. Strange enough. Screenwalls is doing an awesome job with these mammoths and marbs and the rig. And is even destroying more buildings by sending out a lone mammoth tank to take out some of those buildings deep into Bob's remaining. Well, well, Bob's remains, let's put it that way. Now, death comes to Bob very quickly. As you see, mammoth tanks slowly coming within range of the final buildings. Power plants down, that war factory is getting pounded out by the Marv and... Yep, that's down. And that only leaves a power plant left and... It's down. Bye bye, Bobby. Yes. So now that Bobby's down, that means, of course, that's one down, and two to go. Booyah! Moving on! As you might not be able to see yet, but let me zoom in. Stupid engineer walking through a tip field, and... Uh-oh! Fail! Never send an engineer through a tip field, you stupid wank. Yes, I just said the W word. Try and stop me, lol. But look, now one of Killer's Harvesters is being attacked by Zone Raiders and Slingshots. The Slingshots are firing at the Storm Riders which are flying in right now. Those Storm Riders are getting seriously damaged by those Slingshots. But they're not going down without a fight because there are so many of those Storm Riders. These Slingshots cannot keep up with them for so long. They are getting absolutely pounded and they're down. The zone troopers now are being pelted at. When they're moving, it's not as easy to shoot at them and kill them, but when they're not staying, when they're not moving, they get absolutely pwned. That's the last zone trooper down. And peace has been restored to kill his base. Now let's check out Bobby. He's doing an absolutely brilliant job with his base. Sad. It's sad to see that his base is going to be completely and utterly pwned in a few seconds. No, it's only say minutes. Sorry. Now here's Grinwasser's force, obviously still there. But, they are going to be on the move very shortly. And, yep, hammerheads being made. I've got ten of them now, which is absolutely hardcore. All fitted out with different units. And yes, you saw it, the Reclamator Hub. Which obviously means Marv time. But I didn't use the Marv for offensive needs, I used the Marv for economy needs because I was hating the fact that my economy was so darn crap. And look at my defensive line, the immortal defensive line, which it can barely be destroyed. Apart from if you have a whole ton of behemoths, juggernauts, um, or any other long range units. And another engineer fails by dying in the middle of a tip field. Bloody hell. And uh oh, fanatics go straight to a swarm of squad and no, they're all dead. And lone engineer, lone engineer walking through the plains with lone engineer, lone engineer. He's not defended anymore because he's a lone engineer. Oh yes. No, I mean saboteur, not engineer. Get it right, man. Get it right. But, oh no, I'm distracted. Because there's a commando. But 
belonging to Bobby, going straight to Killer's base. Now this is going to be a problem if Killer cannot deal with this threat. But he does something really, really awesome, which we're going to see right now. As you can see, the base defense has come online and is immediately attacking the commando. And the commando goes up to that base defense, and you think it's destroyed. But it isn't. He actually sold it before it was destroyed. That was really fast and really smart, because he sold it, made a buzzer squad, and took out that commando, sacrificed the buzzers at that. But absolutely brilliant work by the immortal killer. 4716. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, Killer's making his own view of this match, if you want to see that. That's up on YouTube. And no time, because Par 3's coming up next. Wait!